Online singing coach back again today with a new special edition reaction. This is my Pog to Tog world tour stop in LA concert experience vlog and reaction. And let me tell you, these boys were on fire. So let's dive into some footage and then I'll share some thoughts. Okay, I'm listening to SB19 stock and traffic, but luckily I've left very early. Here on time. It's a hot day. People are waiting, and ready to go. Hi everyone! <laughs> so are you guys ready? So this is our um, live sound check. Can I hear you guys? Can I hear you guys? I did go to the live sound check. That was a really fun opportunity to see them in a different way. So even though this was a smaller crowd for the sound check, you could see everyone was so excited and so enthusiastic when the guys came out on stage and they came out swinging strong with this first song. You guys can dance if you want. Let's dance. this first version of Gento, the soundcheck version, they're not doing the choreography, they're just singing their parts and and really interacting a lot with the crowd. The boys were very happy to take pictures with them. Because they're not doing the choreography here, you'll notice that they're doing the the background parts da 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 da, da, da later. You see that there's a couple guys doing that echo Later on during the concert, they're busy with their choreography and they don't actually do that part. That was just another way that it was two different experiences between the sound check version and then the in costume with choreography version later on. Now, something else that you'll notice, most of the guys are just kind of wandering around, chilling, you know, singing the song, meeting the fans, but Stell just can't help himself. He is out there dancing, doing some of the choreography with a giant smile on his face. Justin joins him here and there. They just look like they're having so much fun. And I just really noticed, particularly with Stell, he thrives on stage. That is his happy zone. That is his happiest place to be. And he he's just filled with, with the joy of performing. And let's watch this next section. He gets into it even more. <laughs> Yes, did you notice during that section how Justin's just having fun balancing those flowers on his hand? It's just kind of fun to see them like messing around, just just really having fun during the sound check. I heard Ken's harmony on that. Da 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 da. 
Just listen for Ken's harmony on that line. It's so pretty and he's right on. Justin and Stell doing the choreography, kind of a little bit too. A lot of the people I talked to, and you know this was my first time seeing them live too, a lot of the people I talked to, this was their first time seeing SB19 live, a lot of the people I talked to had only recently discovered them through YouTube, through TikTok, so it's just exciting to hear how people are discovering them and, um, and hopefully spreading the word, creating more 18. And here's the first moment of the official concert. <laughs> Unfortunately, my footage here isn't great because everyone was standing up and jumping and cheering. But this energy, you all, this energy. Later on in the show, they all had their solos and stuff and they were amazing as individuals. There was, there was something so intense when they were all five together, whether it was during their choreography numbers like this one, where they're just giving so much to the movements or the parts coming up where they're all just lined up singing in beautiful harmonies. Lots and lots of power, lots and lots of talent. So even just in that little moment there, you can hear Ken and he's like, yo, and it's a nice, deep, chocolatey voice. Ooh, it's so warm and rich. And even when he's just talking, it's like, wow. <laughs> and in the meantime, Stell is busy, like, just singing. He just can't help it. He's got to sing. He's got to dance. He's like on all the time. 
Did you hear his little, uh, or whatever he did? It's good to finally be, be back here in the By the way, I want to take a quick moment here to show you some of my, some of my goodies from the show. They didn't have any t-shirts. They were sold out. Can you believe that? I was so ready to get a t-shirt. I did get this cute little bag. And then a shout out to one of my new friends who got me this awesome bracelet, which I wore proudly during the show. And do you, can you see this other, this other bracelet that one of my new friends gave me? This one was from Emma. Thank you. Shout out to Emma. And thank you to my friend who gave me this. It was so nice to meet so many wonderful, nice, kind, enthusiastic 18ers. These are special, very special to me. So thank you again for those. And y'all, it's, it's hot. It is hot here in LA. So it was so nice to get this <laughs> to, to stay cool during the show. You're going to see you later. Still, everybody's wiping, wiping their foreheads. Man, it's getting a lot bigger than before. Yeah. Yeah. We're so happy to see you guys. And I heard tonight's show, it's sold out, right? People here at the front! <laughs> Very enthusiastic Come fans. Come on, everyone! Yeah. Yeah. I love so we're just getting started and yeah. actually... They're still wiping his forehead. that I reacted to, Tila Luha. I think I'm saying that right? Uh, and it's, it's such a beautiful song, I love it. One thing I noticed last night was that Pablo, more than anything, I always praise his gift as a songwriter, as a producer, as a visionary for this band, as the leader of the group. But I really noticed last night, you know, he, he has just a beautiful, beautiful voice. So Tila Luha was a, was a great way to start for the ballads. Now, this next one, you know I'm a big fan of, and I was so excited for this moment. just take a moment to talk about my boy Stell. Stell, I kid you not, it was song after song after song of Stell having these moments where he gets to wail, he gets to soar, he gets to fly with his voice. And you know this this part here, this is just one, one of many moments in this concert where I was just like, 
What a voice. So beautiful. This was two hours, two hours of singing. And for Stelle particularly, two hours of being way up there in the stratosphere, singing it out strong. His voice never fatigued. It was clean and clear and pure and just beautiful all night long. This is just one of many moments that I just thought to myself, I'm so lucky to be here witnessing this live from Stell and from all the boys. Oh yeah. Listen to Pablo, sing it. This was my most recent reaction, this song. Ilao, thank you for, for correcting my pronunciation on that, not Ila, but Ilao. Um, this was my most recent reaction, and I love this song too so much. I couldn't wait for the Malabo moment, so let's not wait for it much longer now. <laughs> Very emotional from Josh there. Very nice, Justin. Very nice. Music's very loud here. That can sounds amazing. Let me take a quick moment here to, to talk about the photo op moment with the boys. It was very quick in and out, but we did have that. We did get a moment. And remember how I asked you, I asked you all, what, what, can, I, what can I say to them in Tagalog? Something easy. You gave me great suggestions. I wrote a whole bunch of them down. I picked one from the list. And when I walked up to the boys, I said, Angalingaling Neo. And they loved it. They all laughed and smiled. So thank you, 18ers, for that wonderful suggestion, for all the suggestions. I would have loved to have said all of them. Again, they were just all smiles. I know how tired they must be on their world tour. These are long days. Even when they're taking pictures, they made that effort to smile, to interact as much as possible in the short amount of time with each group. They just seemed so nice, so humble and just happy to be doing what they're doing. And it just makes you love them more. It just makes you root for them more. You know what else I'll say about meeting them up close in person too? All five of these boys are so handsome. Yeah, all five of them are just easy on the eyes. <laughs> Crimson 
crimson, or the crimson, the crimson, crimson, crimson. I was told it's crimson. This, this track is just a banger. It's just a banger. Super, super catchy track. Very, very cool production. We will definitely have to do a reaction to this one and Lee Hum. Hopefully they have some videos coming out for those. Okay, now here was the big moment for Stelle. Defying Gravity. Oh, this is another one that I have reacted to and I was obsessed. And I was so excited for this moment and Stelle did not disappoint. Listen to his perfect tone here. Just perfection. <laughs> And now for the final bit of this song. <sighs> it's so perfect. so so amazing this boy can sing we all know it and this song live i leaned over to my to my neighbors jennifer and jesse who were awesome to sit next to and i'm like i told you he can sing <laughs> which they already knew but i <laughs> i just had to say it Ken's solo moment was cool for me because Ken just has a very unique tone. It's not just low and husky. It's there's there's something in in the, the tone quality that's very unique. I know he has a solo artist project, and I feel like it could go very very well for him. 
I have to say there were a lot of Ken fans last night, but one thing that was fun was talking to everybody and being like, so who's your bias? Who's your favorite? And what was really fun is that with all the people that I talked to, almost everybody had a different answer. There wasn't like a clear winner across the board. Everybody had different favorites or everybody said what I say too, is like, I love them all for different reasons. But there were certainly a lot of Ken fans there last night. the song yeah there were a lot of different vocals that were that were happening but you could clearly hear the part that Pablo was singing live again I just love that he did have a, a moment a solo moment because I just think Pablo is so special in so many ways and I loved having a moment where I could just focus on him he is such a beautiful performer uh, something else I noticed was during the banter, during the parts where they were just talking to each other and talking to the audience, Stell was the one <laughs> with the mic talking the most, for sure. <laughs> he just, he, I just feel like he just loves to be on stage. And he, I feel like he's a people person. He just was loving interacting, just loving having an audience. And the person who spoke the least on the mic, for sure, was Pablo. I feel I felt like he was kind of elusive. The some of the other boys like Stell was just like, "Here I am." And Pablo was like kind of letting them take the foreground. But the the time that Pablo was not elusive, was not uh behind a wall, so perhaps was every time that he was performing, every time he was singing or dancing, man, he's giving everything. And you know, perhaps because he's the writer, watching him just feels a little more intense. There's like that special connection to the music, to the stories. I feel like there is a lot inside Pablo. And some of the fans told me that this song was a very emotional song for Pablo. So I need to look up the translation and hear it a bit more because I really loved it. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is another one that I've reacted to and I love it. I love the song. I love the choreography. This is the, this is the hot song. And this was one of the highlight moments for me. It was so, it was so, again, they're all such a pleasure to watch. But for me, this moment was Ken's moment. My goodness, with his cowboy hat, He's very, very magic, Mike. He has got the moves. They all do. They, they all, they all look so good in this number. I mean, watch all of them, but be sure to spend a few minutes focusing on Ken. I'm just gonna hit play on this one.
catchy song it's a sexy song the guys sing it well the guys dance it really well it's a feast for the eyes it was another moment that i was like ah, i'm loving watching this live because it's i've seen it you know i've watched it on youtube i've seen it on the the rappler and because there's nothing like a live performance so this was absolutely hands down one of the highlight moments for me but if you've kind of noticed a lot of these moments that i'm showing you we're the highlight moments. Ah, oh, such a great concert. And this was the last song. Look at that. Okay, and that's all the footage that I have. So once again, this was such a special concert. It was special because I have become such a fan of SB19, the Mahalima, and to get to see them live, to have good seats, uh, that, that I'm close enough to have a nice view, uh, to, to really feel the music coming through the speakers. And you know, I just, it's so important for me to say this that I went to this concert alone. And the whole time from the moment I got in the line to the moment I left, I never felt alone. I had the A-Team with me. We were all cheering together. We, we were talking, we were having fun. Some of you watched my, watched my reactions and thank you for saying hi. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the kind comments. It was so nice to meet you in person and i hope to see you again next year or whenever the next time the boys are here let's be sure to support them stream their music wherever you listen to music watch their videos on youtube like i've said before i want to help them on the road to the grammys 
For those of you who don't know, the Grammys are voted on by members of the Recording Academy, voting members of the Recording Academy. Those are the only people who can vote. So as much as the 18 might be wanting and wishing and supporting them, it's got to be voters that hear their music and connect to them. And I hope that they will, I hope they will submit in a couple categories. Best group performance, Gento for sure. I don't know if they're eligible for best new artist, but if they are, they should definitely submit in that category. And I hope that they do. I want to see them all over the ballot. And this was a long one. So if you, if you made it all the way to the end with me, Salamat. I just want to shout out to all you 18ers again who introduced me to SB19. I wouldn't have gone to this concert if I hadn't heard about them through you all. If you hadn't been such such kind and enthusiastic supporters of them. Hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you really loved this, I'm always super thankful when I see the super thanks come in. You can also support me on Patreon. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.